toast. I know what this means, an explosion. So hi guys, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Iyanu and smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. Smash them, smash them, smash them. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the Coke and Mentos explosion. I saw so many people do this on the internet, so I wanted to try it too. So we got the Cokes. I know it's not gonna be a lot of explosions because it's only two, but we're gonna do half um, this video, half scooter practicing video. So let's just get started. First Coke bottle. Hope it doesn't explode. Oh my. I'm just scared. <laughs> Okay, we got it off safely. Now the Mentos. We're going to put three inside. Three. Oh, I guess this is, can still work. Ah, they're all falling. Okay, they're all falling. Okay. Three. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I got myself wet! Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought only in the UK it works. Actually, it works here too. I just. Hope it doesn't explode. This time we're gonna put five in. <laughs> five. In. <laughs> if we have five, well, we can. We're just gonna put all of it that is left. Oh my. Okay, ready? Wants to explode. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. Shake. Okay. So. I'm gonna run away this time because I don't want to get it on me. So, okay. I'm gonna run away this time. Okay. We're gonna put, okay, so we only have four. That's unexpected. No, we actually have five. We have five, perfect. I'm just gonna put all of them in, like, at the same time. Okay, so we have five. <laughs> I don't know how to... <laughs> I said I'm going to run away. I just didn't know when it was going to explode. <laughs> Look at what the <laughs> mental. Uh, I know it won't re-explode, but let's... Okay, yeah, it won't re-explode. Now we're going to do this. Good job. <laughs> Good job, two little guys, I guess. My hands are just full of soda. Coke and mentors. And that, okay. I'm just like, I'm just kind of like, my hands are just so silky. I don't feel good about this for some reason, but it's kind of fun and weird at the same time. Okay, now this is skateboard lessons. So we're, we're gonna skateboard around this little park. Well, we're not really gonna go like in the park because of the coronavirus, so all the parks are shut down or something. So we're gonna just do some practice over here. The Coke is just so wet on my bottom, but I didn't get too much on it. It still is good. Okay, so first we're going to um, learn how to go down hills. Oh, there's a hill right here, but it's on grass. 
No, actually we're gonna learn how to jump with a scooter. So, the first thing you have to do is don't get off the scooter, don't like do that when you're jumping. Just make sure like your legs are glued, like your feet are glued to the scooter, and then like jump, 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 like that. And if you wanna dodge something, you can also jump too. That's what it's for. And sometimes you can also just put this wheel up like that with your feet, like this. Like that. But don't jump fully if you wanna do this. Like that. Now we're gonna learn how to ride a scooter. Well, some people don't really know because it's their just first time they never had a scooter before. So we're going to do that now. I'm gonna ride like, I think, yeah, this way because, well, well, I can't tell you because, well, so we're just gonna ride around this way and the people who don't know, they, they can watch, they can watch. And the people who are ready now, just watch still. I mean, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so let's do this. is how to turn when you're driving the scooter. So I know how to turn pretty well because I'm a scooter expert, not a bike expert yet, but I will be one soon. So the first thing you have to do, I'm let me back up so I can show you. You're gonna turn it that way, like that, and you're gonna go back. So, let's do this. Like that. I don't really have a perfect turn yet. Well, really? Well, I'm a good turner, but not sometimes it's kind of like a fail so i'm gonna try to retry it and see if it's not a fail so let's do this again no that did not work that did not work okay so maybe because i'm leaning to the side like this do not lean to the side like this you're gonna fall onto this way or if you're going this way you're gonna fall onto that way so don't go to this side don't lean to the side that's what i did and don't lean to this side so you don't fall especially when especially when you're on pavement so the next thing we're going to be learning is how to we're gonna go this way is how to um what is it called? how to get one leg on this thing sometimes i do dangerous stuff i don't know why i put my leg like that and then after i just ride the thing don't do this on the pavement it's just so bad Or you can put this leg up, like that. So, um, we're first going to come over here. Um, OK, 
Okay, so you have to make sure you're on the grass. Well, don't really be on the grass because if you're on the grass, it won't really move you forward like this. That's how far you will just go. So let's go on the pavement walkway. Don't go on the grass. Okay, so I'm going to do it. I hope I don't hurt myself, but we're just gonna do it anyways. so it doesn't bother us because I can't be doing gymnastics and holding this thing at the same time that will just be weird and it will be dangerous so the first thing we're going to learn is a front walkover if you don't know what a front walkover is I do it every time in my video so you should know what it is but if you've never seen me do it before this is what it is Oh, my hat fell off. That's what a front walkover is. If you didn't see my full body, I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, so that's what a front walkover is. So, the so this is how you're supposed to do it. You do this. You like get into your handstand, and then you go over. Like that, you do your handstand split, you go quickly into a bridge, and then you just come up. I think I already teach this before, but if you didn't see that video, it's I think it's called um, gymnastics, singing, and dance. No, yeah, I think it was that dancing. So I think, yeah, I already did that, but anyways, if you didn't see that video, have to go check it out and if you don't really understand like I like I did it there so whatever so now we're going to do it so the first thing you do is and then quickly come up don't waste time or else you won't get it. So this this is how fast I can go to do it. And this is how slow I can go. You don't have to go too fast or too slow, just go medium like this. Like that, like a normal person. So this is how I do it slowly. That's how I do it slowly, but like I said, you don't have to do it too slow. I'm not saying you have to do it slow or fast. You just have to do what I did before, medium. Like that. So the next thing we're going to learn is an elbow stand. I'm really good at elbow stands. Elbow stands are like handstands, but you go on your elbows instead. So 
like a handstand, but instead you use your elbows. So, if you are on the pavement and you're just doing this like for fun, and if you do a mistake, like if you're if you're planning not to do a mistake, it still might happen if you're planning not to do a mistake. So don't do this for fun if you're a beginner. Don't go on the pavement. Don't do this on the pavement. Because sometimes you think it's you're not going to get hurt. And then reality, you get hurt. So I don't want you guys to do it on the pavement. So we're going to do it on the grass. So this is how you are supposed to start. And then you just put your leg up into the middle you can do this you can do this this or just a regular elbow stand okay the next thing we're going to be learning is a one hand walk over. I know this is not how you actually call it, but I just call it that because I don't actually know what they call it. But anyways, a one hand walk over is literally the same thing as a front walk over. You just do it with one hand. Do not do this on the pavement because sometimes your body, you can do this and then you get hurt easily and your, your leg will just bash on the pavement. So do not do this like on the pavement. So I would recommend on grass or if you have a soft mat or something at home, you can definitely try it. So like you do a front walk over, but in the middle you do one hand. So this is how I do it. I'm gonna put my hand like this so you can see my hand that it's not touching the ground. So this is a one hand walk over just make sure you have enough enough strength because sometimes you you're gonna like fall or something when you're trying to come up of a bridge which is backbend so you have enough power make sure you're not really like tired or something so this this is a fail this is a fail That's a fail, so make sure you have energy. Sometimes I don't get it either, so we all do mistakes, so it's not really our fault. We're just still learning anyways. So, make sure you have enough power. If you want, if you have it like already, you can like run and like do it, but um, if you're still a beginner, don't run and do it you might fall like this and you'll get your head seriously hurt or your back or your head because anytime I move my head like so fast it starts wiggling everywhere and then I'll have head pain so do not try that you might break your back you might break your head even if it you fall like that like that and you just like bash your head on the ground do not like, do not, you know, do not do that. So, this is how slow I can go. I did it so slow, I didn't even land it. Okay, this is how fast I can go. My hat keeps trying to fall off. But anyways, but anyways, that's how fast I can go, and that's how you do one. So, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!